Night on everyone. As you all know, my wife bought this little monster, the R6 Corrado. And uh, for those who don't know me, hello, I'm Lee, blah, blah, blah. I run the club with a wife. I don't do the internet. Can't do it. Don't like it. I'm stuck in the past. Hence why I like old cars. Anyway, to get to the point, I've done some digging today. I don't know how I found this out. If anybody knows any info on this car, I'd love to know. Because, well, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll I found this today. Kind of cool, but it'd be proper, right? It'd be proper if it worked. So the wire shared Corrado. So we pop this down and look at this. What's that? I don't really see it, do they? There's a switch. There's a switch right there. I give it a tickle. Now no happens. Now the fella who's photoshopped this forum to me sent me it over. Apparently that switch is a kill switch for bump. Now obviously obviously i've tried turning car over flicking it nothing's happened but i'd just love to know about this switch because i've tickled that switch and nothing's happening so that'd be nice be really nice to know uh another one for the, if anyone knows this car which would be really nice now everyone's telling me 288 audi tt brakes are on this monster now nah, then, that's all well and good. But I don't want to go buying 288 brakes and they're not fit. Can anyone tell me if that's true, if they actually go on? Because on the original alloys, I tell them now, that were tight. That caliper were tight. But, obviously 17's not so bad now. But yeah, that's kind of cool, I found that out. But a bit more info won't go amiss, because I'd love to know where it's wired up on the car. Just out of curiosity, might kill the cat, but there we go. So yeah, hmm. And uh, this boy here, fair play to Mon, because he's done a good job on that. Because it's not a leak on it, and that were a couple of years ago when he did that engine rebuild. Seven grand later, that's what I'm led to believe. Well, it's in the paperwork. So yeah, if you know if anyone knows any more info on that car and that that little tickly switch in there that's a bit proper I'd appreciate it I really would and I know it's had a gr grill change because I've seen it I've seen the comments someone's whatsapp something me so long story short how do we know if that's not a storm anyone please tell me love to know because I've looked everywhere I can't find anything because I'm, I'm a mark one man me but I tell you now, if anyone says what car do you prefer driving, I've had Mark 1, Mark 2, a bit of Mark 4 Golf, 432, bloody, 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 Audi DTM, nice motor. That is the ticket. Proper driver's car, it's proper that. You know what that is? That's like Winston Churchill. Eh? Yeah, alright, it might be a bit of a fat lump, but when it talks, Everyone shuts up and chuffing listens, I'll tell thee. That can talk and that thing. Eh? That's a Winston Churchill, that is. So there we go. If anyone can help and knows anything, I'd much appreciate it. Grand that. All the best.